Tonight I'm using this telescope, this is the F20 telescope, uh, 60 mm aperture and 1200 mm focal length. And uh, I'm watching, the, I'm observing the Jupiter, planet Jupiter, and I'm comparing with the Sky Watcher Evo Star 90. Uh, comparing these two, I can say that this uh, telescope, F21, it's like an upper chromatic telescope, you don't see any chromatic aberration. Of course, this is a very good eyepiece, cheap but very good eyepiece, 8mm star guider. At the same time, uh, the only thing I can compare it with, this is 60mm, the image quality is something uh, like a um, Celestron C19 Maxetov. Or even probably Mead. Uh, 105 ETX but I have to compare side by side at the moment I don't have that uh, here on the mount so I will do that later but at the moment the image quality is beautiful the Ganymede is going to the shadow of Jupiter gradually creeping and then losing its uh, light this is a very long uh, tube I don't know, you can see that it's very long tube, uh, 1 meter 200 uh, millimeter. That's amazing. This really transformed my observation, to, uh, you know, life practically because up to now, the street light, everything was just <laughs> in my eye, I couldn't really concentrate enough on anything and now I'm completely inside this tent safe and it works also as a tel telescope cover really nice I just hold it down by a counterweight putting it in, uh, in the frame of the lower part of the frame of the tent this is really I will have a bigger uh, introduction to this telescope but uh, at the moment you have to go for this I don't see absolutely any false color, no chromatic aberration. This focal length of f um, 1200 and the f2 f ratio of 20, perfect. The best uh, focal length I noticed that is 7 or 8. Uh, if you go anywhere other than that, the image is just uh, you know magnified. I can see two main belts of the Jupiter. I can see some darkening in those two belts. A hint of the temperate belt, uh, cloud belts, and the higher near the polar regions, some detail, but the image is absolutely stunning, beautiful. Okay, to have such a, you know, upper chromatic uh, quality in your normal refractor, there are one cheap, easy way, and that is to make a cardboard aperture stop that means a circle off center or at the center uh, of a, a cardboard piece of cardboard the size of the outer uh, circle of your telescope put it in front in a way of the cellar tape or whatever you can build something around it so it can stay on it and then uh, according to the size of that opening at the center that you create cut a piece of the cardboard at the center a circle shape your f number means that size of the aperture to the focal length focal length to the size of aperture divided by it focal length divided by the aperture you will have a higher f ratio that means your uh, achromatic practical will be uh, like a chromatic in that sense you will not have false color you have to experiment to uh, find optimum uh, um, aperture opening for yours and then you will have that some of the telescopes actually have that um, like the US star they have a hole at the center of the <coughs> um, telescope lens cap so you don't need to actually go and buy something, you can make it yourself.